Hasselback potatoes are such a popular recipe, so why not twist that and do some Hasselback apples? We're gonna do a version of an apple crumble, but using some Hasselbacks. So we'll start off with the apples. I'm gonna take a whole apple here and halve it through the core. And if I take a skewer and about half a centimetre down the apple, I'm going to skewer all the way through. And what that's going to do is that's going to protect the base of the apple as I'm chopping through to create that Hasselback shape. Now remove that and just repeat that with the other apples. So those are all done. So I'll just grab my 26 centimetre baking dish and just put in those apples cut side down, Hasselback side up. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water and that's going to help them steam for a little bit and open up the Hasselback slit. Just cover with a bit of foil. And I've got the oven at 200 degrees, so about 15 minutes we're going to let these cook and they're going to steam and open slightly. Okay, so that's had its 15 minutes in the oven. So you can see the apples have started to cook, which is perfect. So I'm going to start with the crumble though. We start off with some rolled oats, some plain flour, some raw caster sugar. You could also just use plain caster sugar if you want. Also some cinnamon and mixed spice. And I've got some pecans here, but I'm just going to give them a fine chop and then mix them in. And we can go in with the melted butter. And then also just some salt flakes. And just give that all stir through. You can get your hands in there and break it apart a bit. So the crumble's done. So I've got some golden syrup and as you can see when the apples bake they've kind of started to split open a bit. So it's a perfect opportunity for us to pour in some of the golden syrup and it's going to caramelize slightly. So when you can spread apart some of the slices and get some of the golden syrup in there. And just go in with that crumble mixture. Get it in between all the apples so don't get it on top of the apples. Now into the oven for another 20 minutes and those apples are going to become really nice and caramelized and the crumble will be nice and crunchy. Okay, there it is, ready in its golden glory. And just to finish it off, a few more chopped pecans and some more of that golden syrup just drizzled all over the apples. Gloss them up a bit. And there it is, our twist on the classic apple crumble with some Hasselback apples, a bit of golden syrup and a really nice spice crumble.